Today, we are learning about the people who were arrested for breaching the U.S. Capitol in what police called criminal riotous behavior. One is a man from Marion County. News 6's Clay Lepard joins us now in studio. And Clay, he was taken into custody on a charge of unlawful entry, but this is not the first time he's been arrested. Ginger, here is a past mug of Michael Curzio. According to online court records, he was convicted of attempted first-degree murder in 2013 and served eight years in prison. He was released in February of 2019, and he is among those charged with unlawful entry yesterday at the Capitol. On his Facebook page, Michael Curzio posted this morning, on our way back home, plus I got arrested yesterday. Our point was made yesterday. I have no regrets for anything. We're getting ready to go march. Throughout the morning, the Marion County resident posted videos on his Facebook page, leading up to the rally where President Trump spoke. If anything happens, we get arrested or killed. Just know, man, I love y'all and I did what I believed in. He stopped posting videos early in the day, and it's not clear at this time what led to Curzio being among the first six facing charges from Capitol Police. However, we still have a significant amount of work ahead of us to identify and hold each and every one of the violent mob accountable for their actions. We have collected numerous images of persons of interest that we are asking the community to help us identify. The FBI is also asking for help finding those behind Wednesday's assault at the Capitol. They set up a website for people to upload photos and videos of rioters who smashed their way into the building. The Department of Justice announced it has been working through the night with federal authorities to help identify some of the people who stormed the Capitol, and they expect to file the first federal charges this afternoon. We made several attempts to contact Michael Curzio and have not heard back. Ginger? Clay, thank you.